Well, hey, Cece here, Fab Flip Lady, and happy rainy day Monday. Now, remember that song, Rainy Days and Mondays by the Carpenters? Well, it's a rainy day, but it's going to be a good Monday. It's not going to get me down because today is a blowout 65% off estate sale. So I am excited to see if there's anything left because I did see some glass. I saw some other exciting things. Let's go in and see what we can find because that's what I do. I find things and I flip them for a profit on eBay and Poshmark. Let's go. Well, this looks new, like it was never even. Price tag wasn't even taken off of it. Okay, not much in the clothing department. There's an old-fashioned earring tree, or a jewelry hanger, something or other. Here, now that's a bad, wow. That's a bad. Ooh, that's a gorgeous mirror. Wow. Two fifty. It's heavier than heavy. Let's see who this is by. This is by. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Okay. Let's see. Does not say who it's by, Pacific Coast Lighting. Pacific Coast Lighting. And those are always my favorite, finding hats. I don't know. It doesn't really have a brand, I don't think. This is Congo. That's a good brand hat. Kind of stained though, but I might stick it in my bag anyway. What else do we have here? These are cute. White Mountain. They don't look like they've been worn. Well, I don't know how much this, I think this is the cutest, tiniest little crossbody bag. I think I'm going to grab it and see what he wants for it. Okay. That is a gourd that is made to look like a penguin. A gourd? That's a penguin. And these are plastic. Wow. Hmm. This is hand painted in Thailand. there. Got a nice little lake view here. Nice little lake view. This looks like the basement. Oh my, look at this. seen a blue stove in I don't think a very long time like 50 years <laughs> what are these cute little mugs these are sweet looking uh -huh. they aren't marked but they've got sweet little birds on them it's actually a transfer not painted but it's they're cute <clears throat> Max. These look like wine. Um, Three dollars. It's 
kind of cool the way it's beaded. I don't mind that. I think that could make a statement for somebody that wanted their wine to look cool. <clears throat> My, he's a big boy. Whew. 200 for Santa. Santa doesn't have real fur. This looks like a moth. Just kind of why I like him. I mean, that's that's cool with the moths on the sides like that. And so it would be. sure it's old. I like that piece. Now, that looks like dirt, not like a chip or anything. So I like him. Let's see about this lamp. It's heavy. And I really like this part right here, this glass or enamel. How much is the lamp? I do not see a price on Oh, 25 It's kind of pretty. I do like that lamp. That looks like an extremely old backgammon board. I don't know if it has all the pieces. And I don't know about her either, but I do look, she does look pretty old. <clears throat> Man, this is Blue Sky. And I saw him in the pictures, and I love this. So, he is awesome if he's not broken. What is this back here? Is that a piece? I don't think so. He is wonderful. I like him. Well, if I get nothing but him, I am glad I came because I love my blue sky. And this coat looks pretty nice. Again, it's full fur, which is... Okay. And there's some more Santa stuff down there. I think I'll take this guy upstairs. Now, how did I miss this the first time? Because this is super fun. Okay, I have to ask you, why do I keep picking up the stuff without prices? I swear to you, I'm not. I'm not taking That's prices. That's been going on all day long. <laughs> you know, I ring something up, and all of a sudden, wait a minute, didn't I ring you up? Like, well, yeah, my eyes had to come back. I don't said, know, but... I think it's kind of cute. Well, you don't want it to haunt you if you don't buy it when you go home. <laughs> That's kind of true. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a gypsy uh, performing in a circus. I think so. Thing. I think it's a circus performer. That's yeah. my guess. Yeah. Yep. What do you think? I can three dollars, whatever it is. You got it. You got it. I'll take it. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm running out of things to find because I thought I was hoping there was going to be an upstairs. But Sometimes it looks like I'll I have to. to yeah, yeah. I didn't look when I came in. That would help if if I'd looked, wouldn't it? He's funny, but I don't know. Now that little fish guy, he would be, he would be cute. So I think I'll take him. This might be more Roseville. I think it goes with that. Yeah, 40 for the pair. Okay. These are Roseville candle holders. But 40, 12, 10, 40 for the pair. I don't know. I'll ask him if he'll go any lower. And this is a necklace that looks like it needs to be restrung. What else do we have? Some earrings. This looks like a homemade pin. 
I feel like I'm doing a terrible job filming today, but he's kind of cool. I could make a great pin out of him because I think that's what he used to be. I swear, that thing is magnetic. Oh. Well, sold all the jewelry, huh? I don't think there's much left. <laughs> They had some cute little pieces. I don't think there's much. No. Nothing for you guys. <laughs> Want some more stuff, Stacey? I'm finding more. Awesome. Even though I'm late today. He's cracked, darn it. Made in England. But he has a crack on the bottom. It's a fair light. Oh my God! Could you? Different. Lord. Could you? Could you get a little confused by that? Yeah. That's a lot of pills. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. hon. <laughs> yeah, there are, but I'm just laughing about. I'm laughing about the dispensary style. It's like, wow. <laughs> Something. That could be, that could be in all fairness. What's this? What's that? repeating myself just to make sure I didn't miss anything fantastic. This looks like an original oil painting. Let's see. It says, Skobach unloading of a ship. That's interesting. It's got some wear. We need restoration. So, I don't know what this is called, but I do think it's really cool. It, I think that's not supposed to have a drawer there. But gosh, for like $5, that's really a neat piece. I don't need any paint samples. I think that's with, oh, coin wrapping things. Paper. Don't need that. I don't need a pill, whatever it's for. <laughs> I don't need refill blank ink. Actually, the whiteout stuff might come in handy. There was something I wanted to do a whiteout for. That's actually really neat. Very solid. It's got some nice tools in it, too. What is this? For glasses? Oh, well, I like it. This is infection prevention. There's some little crystals. 
pencils to glue on, but you know what? It's all right. I do like it. Pins, but I don't see needles. You can need little tiny pins, but what the heck, why not? I also like that piece. I really like it. Here's some cards. This is for my teeny tiny little guys. All right, I like this pieces. I'm going to turn off my camera so I can go take those up. All right, another something I've never seen before a thread house. Now, this is sweet because you open the door and then you can just go like this and turn it around. <laughs> you can see all your thread, and I think that's great. Well, hello, it is the next day. And I have to apologize a little bit because that sale was crazy. It was only an hour till closing and it was intense because there was a lot I had to look at before I had to leave. And so I decided rather than film all the intricacies and miss out on things, I would show you everything I got after. So how's that for an idea? I spent a total of 150. And in that 150, several things came free, but I'm really excited to show you what I ended up with. And you know, there's, there's something to say about going to sales on the last day, on the last hour, because as I was heading out, literally the workers were saying, hey, you want this, you want this? For example, this beautiful rug was a freebie. The guy let me use it to wrap up a vase. It's really neat. It's got like a rubber backing. I absolutely love the horse. It's a little dirty, but I think it's a winner. The other free item that I got was this table. It was normally 25 and I was going to get it, decided against it. And they said, why don't you just take it? It's one less thing we have to deal with. And I was absolutely thrilled to take it. It kind of reminds me of Mackenzie Child's courtly check. And then, of course, you might have to laugh at this one, but I actually thought this was kind of fun. This is a hair piece. I don't know that it was ever actually worn. And I basically paid 25 cents for that. I think I paid a dollar for this. The two little kittens, those are Lefton actually, and I only paid $3 for both of those. This was marked, I wanna say, $14 or something, and I ended up getting it for a dollar or two. This fun looking interesting piece of metal that has been hand painted, I paid a whole three dollars for. And now here's a little lesson in looking carefully at nasty flower arrangements because this beautiful vase, Amberina, and I haven't researched it yet, I don't know what kind of swung glass it is, and I'm not sure if it's Ellie Smith, but it is a beautiful piece and I only paid $3 for it. This was a whopping $6 and this is definitely old. I think I featured it in the video. If you look at the bottom, you can see it has um, some age and I loved the fact that it had the moths on the side. These little guys, I only paid maybe a dollar or so for. This was about $3. My biggest purchase <laughs> is this very interesting lamb. And believe it or not, it was priced at $150. I think it's supposed to be, Mary had a little lamb that's a lamb. And she's quite fancifully dressed. She is really impressive in terms of her clothing, but she was $150. And even at 65% off, I was like, no, I'm not interested. And he came down to about $22. And I still said no. I said to him, I have $12 left in my wallet. And he said sold. So I came home with this really interesting character. And then this piece right here, I thought it would be a great piece to repaint and make it look really pretty. It's a, it's a great secretary for a desk. So all of this stuff came to about $52, including the table and the free rug. And this was also free. This is an actual queen down 
um, comforter and not stained or anything, needs to be washed. And then I'm going to show you what was my big purchase at the sale, but it's out in the garage. So this was my big purchase and oh, I absolutely love this piece. I love it so much I wish I could keep it. It is really, really comfortable. Sadly, it has this one little piece of missing wicker, but it's, it's a really well-made, very heavy, solid piece. The back of it flips forward. I paid a whopping $100 for this piece and I know I can at least double or triple my money on it. They actually had 800 on it. I'm not so sure. It, it would really sell for 800 I don't know why I'm blurry here. Let's figure out why it's blurry. There we go. Um, but it's got a great ottoman. It's a pale yellow color. I absolutely love it. So thanks for coming along with me. I hope you will take a minute to hit the like button and subscribe. And I love your comments. If you have any questions or want to talk about something exciting that you found, please leave it in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time.